Uh, okay. Uh, okay, so I'm in like oh, well. a, a dilemma, right? So Voldyke is coming out, what, middle of December? I think so, yeah. Yeah, so um, I would really like to get there on my main. Uh, like I took like a Ireland. month break. Huh? Yeah, 16, 20. So I took like a month break back in like the summer. And I didn't realize just how much that set me back. Because I feel like in that one month, I could have gotten like one to maybe two extra 1580s. And then it would just make like oh, getting the, the last 1580 and then just focusing on Voldyke for 1620. Um, so since it's coming out December, middle of December, my goal, my ideal spot is like, am I able to get my main of 1620 and then finish off my main 6 to 6, 1580? All right, can we go to the 1600? Uh, my main? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not, I'm processing a lot. Um, yeah, yeah, all good, all good, man. So Take something that's going to be true no matter what, if you really do want to have a 1620, I think it is, you need to use every single event material. Yeah. And everything you get on that character. Okay. Um, ordinarily, I don't tell people to use it as soon as they get it, but you you should start loading that character, like, ASAP. Um, 1620 is quite the leap. Also, I would maybe purchase yourself, like, four or 5,000 arrays. Just get that out of the way and have them. Um, okay. I'm Right now, I'm trying to figure out kind of what your cost is going to look like. I'm b guessing that you don't have... Oh my god, that's plus nineteen. Yeah, I I saw the cost. It's like four to five hundred k gold, uh, like six to seven k leaps. Um, okay, hit hit um, P. Which want to see what you have for? No, 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 I need to see your gear. Um, go ahead, and hover over your gear levels. So Sixteen, seven, uh, two pieces. Go ahead, three pieces, four pieces. Uh, okay, so four piece. Do you have four pieces that we have? Yeah, these are the four pieces. Okay. Um, so you're not in a bad spot, right, for four pieces. So how, uh, you already did the math, you said? Uh, yeah. So I don't have to sit here and do this. That's what I was doing. I had it pulled up above. But I, I don't know if it's like if I'm able to farm the leaps from here on. Well, hold up. That's not true. So, just... We'll uh, take it down just a, a bit. You have no bound materials on this character, right? Other than the honor shards. Yeah, because I just got her to 1600. Okay, so we're not going from where I'm going from either, so let's get rid of that. Okay, so... Could you go back to your gear? Because I'm just trying to input it for max yeah. roll. So your gloves are at 16. And if something's at 16 already, I don't check it, right? Correct me. Okay. No, I'm asked those questions like on max roll. I wasn't sure. Uh, go to the uh, next, go to your weapon. Okay, so your weapon would be like the equivalent, I think you said, of 11. Okay, go to your pants okay go to your um, other chest is also 17 that's very nice by the way and then gauntlet 16 okay and then the rest of it all has to go from 19 so it's actually one light item level behind right like that the plus 19 that you have on your helmet is that this is brow that is Brel. Okay, so how, I don't even know how I would equate that, but we're just going to do this. Um, it was Gucci peeps. Yo. Yo. So essentially, um, what I have is 3.9 million honor shards, so you're at 1.3. Right? Is that kind of what you got with your thing, too? Yeah, around there. And then the 7k leap stones and the 4100 arrays. So I would just say, like, you're going to get the gold, right? We have two months, basically. You will get enough gold. 
you will have mm. enough Arrayas. I think if you're going to fall short, you're going to fall short maybe on Weapon Stones, Leap Stones, and uh, Juice, right, on a Shards. So, again, it's going to be the same logic. Like, go to your materials and your storage. Uh, you do not have any chests, huh? Like, oh, oh, like uh, like event chests, stuff like that? Just all of it, yeah. Okay, you have a, uh, yeah. a mule. You have a mule. I get it. A mule, <laughs> yeah. I have a lot of mules, trust me. <laughs> right, you yeah. should, too, actually, looking at your roster, you have, like, 20 characters or plus, too. Uh, 20 ca No, I have, like, 13 uh, I'm thinking of deleting my summoner and then just making the uh, soul eater with the pass and just get a 1540 like for free. Oh, it's a teaching. Let me not interrupt. Well, it's more of an advice thing. He's because he wants to get 1620. I mean, on his. Oh, own. he left. He left. Yeah, he said. He oh, did, did he? <laughs> yeah. Well, it was better than yesterday. Yesterday it was hard. I was trying to help somebody and um, they just yeah. kept talking. It made it really difficult, but. This is different. You're an experienced player. That player had to have, like, everything explained, every little thing, because he was brand new. So it's just, okay, wait a minute, hold up. Dude, I love this. I love that I get to do this with you. Thank you wait, for the what? opportunity. Um, do you trust me? Yeah. All right, I need you to do something before we start opening these. Wait, we're opening them now? Ah, uh, you're going to open some of them, yeah. Because I can guarantee you're going to need some of them. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... You need 7,200 leaps on that other character. You had zero, if I remember correctly. I already farmed, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to put you... i got to put a baseline out. That's why. So, what are we... Um, you're going to farm X amount of materials in the next two months, right? Do you know the yeah. 1,600 Chaos Dungeon farm rate? Uh, no, but I do everything rested. So, every three days, I do just I just run all my Chaoses and Unas. Nope, that's oh, fine. That's what I do. So you get 60% less. The reason why I'm saying this is all we need to figure out is in the next two months what your baseline is, like how much is the minimum you're going to farm. And okay. then if we can figure out the minimum that you're going to farm, we know what you're going to come up short. So we know where you have to put your attention. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah. Okay. So that's all we're trying to do right now. Your shards, I actually think you have right there in the bags. But that's why I'm saying we're not going to have you open all of them. We just want to see mm -hmm. how much I think you're going to come up short. Mm -hmm. So... Um, I would start prepping this, though, because we are going to open some of this stuff. So I would transfer the 134 bag uh, stack, transfer that. You're not going to use all of them, but the 134 stack of shards, just because it's the largest, so you don't have to keep coming back and forth. And then whatever the largest of the rest of them is, too. So I see a 36 chest of leaps, but those mm. may not have radiance, though. See, that's the problem. Anything that doesn't have, yeah, if it doesn't have radiance, yeah. don't do that. Um, so you, I think you have a couple radiance up top, right? This one has two, so Oof. two times four. That's eight. Yeah, it's the thing, terrible, the, the terrible. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, like the leaps here are like not even. Even if I like get the marvelous and just convert, it's just, I don't, I don't know no, if it's worth. It's I know not. the shards for sure is. I mean, let's be real. Your goal, your fun, your goal is sixteen twenty, right? That's what yeah. you wanted above everything. So if it is, and that it well, is worth. sixteen twenty. Well, I said, in the middle of December, if I could get my main is sixteen twenty, and then my other alts to 1580 because i i okay, have if, that, if that's only... the case then you need to do the alts to 1580 first that's your first goal okay because so gold. my my gold earners is obviously my two gun singers my death blade my sorg and my dead eye and my scouter so i have three 1540s can you go to some of these 1540s whoever has the most bound materials okay so yeah also, what's your ability to obtain gold? Like, like, do you just, are you making 100k, 200k a week? What are you pulling in? Oh, uh, I don't sell any, like, anything, like, any tradable stuff that I get. I only just get gold from raids and, like, guild gold and, uh, okay. I need a number. To so, it would probably be, like, close to 100k a week. Okay. About there, yeah. Do you think you could get one character up? I guess it's kind of where I'm going with this. Because you're yeah. sitting on all of those bound materials, and that's actually one of my big pet peeves, right, is because... Um, I don't mind saving, but your your goals don't align with saving. I guess that's what I'm saying. Like you want these characters to be at fifteen eighty, you might as well just use them and get them there now and get the farm rates higher. And since okay. what we're seeing is you're gonna be short stones and not so much honor shards on your main character because the stones are just shit from the chest that you get. Um, like the free bounty you know you see where I'm kinda of going with this is that we can get the stones through Guardian raids. So if we can get you to Sonneville and you don't sell your stuff anyway, yeah, you're thirty eight hundred, please hone this character. And don't even wait. Okay. So I, I hone this guy. Yeah, I think he's going to be my next 1580 because I, I, again, I went to Maxor and I saw that, like, you need, uh, like, 
6K. You're not even uh, gonna need those. That's PS. Did it say 6K really? Yeah, and and when I pushed like my my death weight of 1580, I used about like the same. Okay. Uh, loose zones. So that's why I've been running like Hanus to try and just farm like marvelous seeds and then just so you're like kind of there. Yeah. Why don't you so go I'm see if you can get some free taps. Free taps. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll make it a video out of this, so I might as well make it fun. Oh, shit, okay. Um, and at any point, if you don't trust what I say, you just say no. I yeah, do no, not no. consent. I do not consent. That's I, it. Is this, I'm trying to figure out here if it's possible to even get to that goal. To 1620? Yeah, it is. It is, but... Uh, 1620 and like, and, like fit, and like three 1580s. Well, that's why I'm saying you can't have... Yeah. You might not be able to have both. Okay. You, you might be able to get one more 1580, maybe even two, depending on how many bounds they have. But with two months left, the goal really is you're not going to farm enough. You're not going to farm the amount of leaps and stuff that you need in the next two months to get to 1620 on that main guy is kind of what I'm getting at. You're going to farm yeah. maybe two, 3,000 of them, but because he has like zero on him, that's two, 3,000, you're still short 5,000. You see where I'm going with this? And we just showed that. So play, play, hold up, stop for a second. Play ball for a second. What's up? What we just figured out was that the the chests, the materials that they give you in events and stuff are absolute fucking trash. No, yeah, it is, it is trash. For Even the Arctas. But they're, yeah, not, the they're not bad for honor shards and they're not bad for reds, right? They might still be bad for reds, but they're not Red, bad reds, for... Reds is pretty shit. Okay, but they're not bad for honor shards, right? Which no, is no, also no, one of your no. bottlenecks. So you have three, those three bottlenecks. So the reds, I'm sure, aren't that bad if you buy them off the market. I'm also sure that the red production from Chaos Dungeons and everything wouldn't be that bad if you keep them all. Like, I'm sure you'll have it. You see where I'm going with this. I guess what I'm trying to say is you need more of a funnel. If you want to accomplish this mm -hmm. goal, you need more of a funnel because it doesn't look like you're going to be absent buying it. it <clears throat> if you opened all of those event materials on your main character, would that bridge the gap? I guess is kind of what I'm saying. And I don't think it would. Mm -hmm. Maybe in shards. Yeah, yeah. It's worth so, in shards. Exactly. And that's why we're not going to use all the shards yet, right? But since it won't... Well, exactly. Yes. Because it's the event ones are good there. But since we can't bridge the gap on your main alone... It doesn't mm -hmm. make sense to make that your main push. It makes more sense to get the 1580s, right? Mm -hmm. That will then, mm -hmm. then be able to funnel those maps that he can't get alone anyways to give him more. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the reds and stuff. Yeah, and really the leaps is what we're seeing. But yeah, you get the point. It's mm -hmm. it's You're not going to get as much value out of just opening those things on him. And if you're going to sit on them forever, you're getting no value out of them. So since you're going to push these characters eventually, we're about to break through a shit ton of those materials if you have to, to push this character up. You can do it right mm -hmm. now. I just don't think you have the gold. That's no, no, no. I, I'm going to like farm up a bit more gold. Yeah, that's why I asked what your gold income was. That was because yeah. if you... Uh, like, do the other 1540 characters have something similar to his materials? Because even if they don't, even if they don't have the same, whatever characters you want to push right now, to show me them and, and we'll okay. talk about it. Okay. Because you're going to use all of those material chests that you have, if that's what that takes. To, even if you can do it next week, wouldn't that be great if next week you could have all six of your 1580s? It's, yeah, that'd be great, but I don't know if I'll have the gold for that. Exactly, and that's, again, yeah, why yeah. I asked what is your gold income, because that's where this comes down to. Yeah. Um, You're the first person I've ever talked to that's going to have that be their bottleneck. I gold? mean, ev everybody <laughs> says gold is their bottleneck, but it's fucking not. Not if you're respecting the nah, yeah. If you're literally sitting there tap, 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 which is kind of what you're about to do, then yeah, then it, then it can, it can cripple you. But you even have the silver, like you're a grinder. I can tell by your stats. Two million shards. Yeah, dude, you could push this character too. But we're going to start with the easier ones first. Yeah, like the dead eye. The thing is that, uh, okay, so then here was my other question, right? So... Yeah, I could push like my Deadeye, Sork, or Scouter um, to 1580. But the thing is that I have a static also, right? And, you know, sometimes we run a cons here and there. And, and sometimes if I can't join them, like I, I don't do a cons with them. I just kind of pug it. Um, my Deathblade, she's Surge. So she only needs like one like Surge, you know, uh, gem. And then my All Gunslinger. Yeah, because they all have my 1540s, like the ones that I'm showing you right now. They all have level 7s. So, so if I do you push better gems than I have on my mains. Oh. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I have a couple of main characters that have better gems than you. Maybe not, because you probably have 10s. But, I mean, I have a better than that. Nah, I I'll don't say, have 10s. I'll say better than that, though. Better than yeah, your yeah. level 7s. But, but, no, a couple of my characters have, like, 6s and 5. Like, dude, no. If you're good enough at the fucking game, it doesn't matter. It does matter. You still shouldn't be a slump, right? And that's why I'm working on my that's gems. That's what I'm saying. And I haven't yeah. been selling my gems. But I don't think that level 7s is slumping it. 
and also for like the con normal for a con normal and down i don't think that level sevens is slumping it for a con hard and up you yeah no more a con hard yeah. and up you need eights nines tens period the end um but anything it's just the gatekeeping con, that's all because if you have to sit there and like you do you like the, six of cons um, you know what i mean i do them i don't get gatekept that bad i do get gatekept bad but you get you get it eventually like yeah yeah and i'm only playing like 20 hours a week right now I, I think you can do it. I think you're building an issue out of that one. It's not really an issue. Okay. I promise. Right. And worst case scenario, you're doing it not for the Akans, but for the Guardians to funnel your main goal again, which was your 1620. Yeah, yeah, that's true. All right. So stop it. Just follow the advice. No, go to the Dead Eye <laughs> okay. and, and start honing. See where you can get free 50k. Tops, free tops. Yep. Well, you can tap a little bit too. Don't just do the free tap. You could use 20, 30k gold. You'll be fine. What are you going to use it for? What else are you going to go use the gold on? Oh, the gold? Oh, uh, so I was, so now, like I said, I have a static, and we all agreed to uh, push for this week for 1600 so we could all just do it. Okay, but you um, need it. Yeah, yeah, but the thing is that, like, I had, I pitied, like, two pieces and, like, 80% in one piece, and what ended up happening is I needed, like, help to get there, because otherwise I wasn't so going to be able to get there. Gold. Yeah. yeah, so my group. friends were like, "Oh, okay, that's fine." Like, so that I'm just gonna save group. up. Yeah. How much do you owe them? Uh, so here, let me just quickly check. Cause that's the first thing you should do. Then just pay them. Back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah. Uh, Is it a lot? It's like about like eighty-five k. Jeez, dude. Yeah, dude. The pity was not good. <laughs> the pity was not good. Okay, can I be real with you. Whoever that yeah. is, I would send them fifty k right now, because you don't send nah, that. Yeah. I'm serious. Like that's what you should be doing. Send the fifty k and then send the thirty k as soon as you grab it. So, so then you could start working on the school immediately. So go ahead, go for the free taps. That sucks, dude. <laughs> um, that hurts. Yeah, I mean, no. Like I, I told them like I'm gonna just run all my raids uh, this week, and then uh, just pay you back. Like, and they were like, oh, you can like it's fine. You could like a week or two like you take your time but obviously like my priority is to pay them back because you know they didn't have to do that but because i told them like i told them even like you guys could pug like a dps i'll join next week but they were like nah like we'd rather just like it's not a good idea so no, that's cool that's uh, exactly how the community should be man oh off to a good start okay be funny if you got a bunch of them you know, after pitying two pieces, maybe. Don't do it like this because you have five different pieces. Do each one. Oh, each one. Cause, all right. Well, because you never know. Yeah, that's true. That's fair. And it's the same I mean, concept. Yeah. Weapon two or no? You don't if think you it's want worth to. weapon? That's up to you. At the end of the day, it's 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 gonna cost you more, but if it hits, it's gonna help you more, right? So. It's yeah. up to you. If you do one tap each up the line, then what does it matter? Whatever hits, right? Yeah. The most efficient would be the the piece armor pieces, but I mean, you're you're praying to get uh, at least three of these. At least three, okay. Getting that one right off the bat was huge. As a matter of fact, why don't you level that sixteen? Because I think it's four percent, and throw that in the hit mix too. Yeah. Mhm. Mm you're gonna need the shield. Right. Yeah, it's four percent. So just I hit that one too. As a matter of fact, yeah. Oh, oof. oof. Okay. Wait a what? minute. Hit. It. All right. Juice that one more time. Just because I think that that's four percent too. If it's not four percent, don't tap it. Yeah, Sorry. don't tap it. So do the other ones. Although <sighs> you could technically. Oh. Mainly also because, like, I don't want to make the wrong choice and then all of a sudden, like, find myself, like, be set back, like, f more months, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because, like, that month break, like, I, I, I thought, like, oh, like, I'm getting burned out from the game. I'm just going to get a month break. I'll be fine. I should be okay. But, always, even if you take breaks, always sign in and collect your dailies. Yeah. Just your daily login. Even if that's the only thing you do, then that's fine. I don't know if you're going to get another one. I'm tempted to have you at the 17 because 3% is only one less than 4%. But how many does it take for the uh, 17? 
16. 16? Yeah, I hit it. Fuck and it. then, uh... Yeah, they're all 16, so hit it. It might be 18 where you would want to stop that. Don't just hit it, though. Because, again, <laughs> the chances of it hitting that piece are probably lower. Although it did hit once already. The twice, yeah. But it is more value. That's kind of the hard part. Go right back to 17. What? Go back to 17, because it is more value, ultimately. Because it's 16 for 3%, which is 1% less. Like, ultimately, this is your best thing to be hitting at the moment. So it's, just everything? Yeah. If it didn't hit twice, I probably wouldn't even tell you this. Come on, give him a little more. All right, pick a piece of your choosing. Smart. He goes. Okay, <laughs> that's fine, though. So you got 17. That's not bad. Should I do that basically for my all my characters? Like, good if you want to. Yeah, go for it. All right. I don't think they're gonna have as many as he probably had, but that wasn't bad though. Actually, that was pretty good. I um. Yeah, I mean, and this goal obviously isn't going to be because you have to pay back the gold this week, so it's probably going to be next week when you finally start to get honing that guy, but I think it's going to be an easy honing session for you. Yeah, okay. I mean, I hope so, yeah. How many 1580s do you need to have six? Uh, three. So you might... Do they all have, like, a good amount of... Just for now, do the dead eye, and then we'll we'll rekindle after that. Right. Okay, so so in this next upcoming week, uh, pay just the gold back, the and then eye. just focus the dead eye? Yeah. Yeah, because... Okay. And I'm not saying not to do the other ones, but because if we do it this way, then you'll have another week of farming. Those characters will have more bounds. And then we'll focus the next one. Do you see where I'm going with this? Mm -hmm. And every time you pick one, another one, that gives the other one that you're waiting to do another week to farm, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, they have 600. You have a lot of these. Same thing. If you get a hit, then I would just keep hitting this. Yep, go ahead. You have to show it, yeah. Until you get a hit, and then because we just learned what we learned, I would actually just keep hitting the piece past the 17. Hopefully you get a hit. It is 600 stones. But yeah, now that we've learned that, um, I should have probably known that. I could have figured that out. But I think it's 18 where it'll become 1.5%, and then it takes more stones or something, but it's only like 17. So everything that's 16 and in that 3% or up range, you should just keep hitting the same piece because you're going to save more materials every level. Once you get a hit, obviously, if you get a hit, looking at this, jeez, come on, be nice. This will be good, because then Wojanek can't complain about his luck being bad after he sees this. <laughs> jeez. Yeah, man, you know, it is what it is, you know. <laughs> Nature of the game. Truth. But, like, one would be nice. Maybe try a slow tap or something, I don't know. A slow tap. No. This is brutal. Come on. I mean, like, like you said, it's fine, though, because, like, the dead eye got, like, a little boost, and he's going to be, like, the main goal, right? It the is. It's out. just yeah. cruelty, that's all. This is yeah, cruelty. It's, it's, yeah, it's just, it's just looking rough, you know? One more. This is it. Or not. Wow. That's mean. <laughs> yeah, um, it's fine. It's fine. What do they have for bounds? Uh, bounds. Right here. 27. Okay. Yeah, so I think I think that's the goal. Your, your, your goals are pretty easy. What you're going to do is 
focus the dead eye over the next week mm -hmm. um obviously pay a gold back focus yeah. the dead eye don't touch the main for a little bit like i would actually wait until we're getting closer wait a month wait till stones come down in price too like there's a lot of reasons to wait that we won't talk about but um just wait don't touch the main any further pay your friend back get yeah. the dead eye up the dead eye is an easy easy achievable goal right now it's going to help you get more yes you're paying upfront value which is what everyone's always giving me shit for but yeah that upfront value you're then going to put right back into your main character because the main's going to be short x amount of stones this character will help you get x amount of stones it's either that <clears throat> if you didn't have the goal of getting these other three characters 1580 eventually i would have mm -hmm. just told you to open every single event material on the fucking main that's what i was going to have mm -hmm. you do at first but because you have the goal of getting these characters up that just doesn't make any sense to me okay because you're going to get more out of those event chests on these characters yeah well i mean i think i think they're okay with like their shards and bounds and then like if i like i said i also have like a guardian day right so i rest my guardians and then when they have one bar i just run like like oh i run like hanus right and with hanus like i just get the tradable like they stack right here which adds to like their bounds i know yeah, yeah no, I got so it. uh that's kind of like what i'm thinking as well i don't know if it's worth doing that but no you're still fine doing that i'm saying that I mean, I don't, I don't do guardian raids below my six Sonneville characters, right? Because for me, it's not. But you're still in that funnel phase where it's important. So yeah, I get it, I... and you're putting the playtime in. Um, I just think that you, with if you had the gold, you could already get these characters to fifteen eighty right now. That's kind of it. You're short okay. the gold, so having to pay back that eighty k is hurting you the most. So you pay back the eighty k, and then everything you get goes into the dead eye. As soon as the dead eye is fifteen eighty, we're moving straight to the next character. I'm just saying to do one at a time because it'll give you a week to farm. So if it takes you a week to do the dead eye, that's seven days that you're going to be farming the glavier and the machinist. Does that yeah, make sense? yeah, Sork and the machinist, yeah. But ultimately, the goal is to get to that pile of crap that you had in your storage, the just tons of materials that were built up, and eventually start breaking into that to get these characters there quicker. Uh, so. Would I have one right there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. A meal? Yep. Use that on my these characters, whatever they if need. If they're short. Yeah, exactly. If yeah, okay. Short. That's kind of the goal. Uh, also, like, I'm thinking of deleting, like, the summoner. Um, then do it. I kind of, yeah, because I'm just, like... I don't delete characters, uh, I just get another character slot. That's kind of me, but... Because yeah, you might have like, a day... You might have a day where you're short silver, so you just jump on the low pangs. Or you might have a day where you're just... You have a ton of free time, you can do all the chaos dungeons, and still got great value, right? So... Like, if, if I do those, do I just... Like, like, let's say, like, I do her chaos, right? And, like, maybe guarding... She's not even built, like... Don't do her guardians, do I, though. You just yeah. do chaos. Anything do I just below, excel? I don't, I don't even do the Hanumatans, because to me, they're really not worth it. Okay. Like, the amount of stones that you're getting from the Hanumatans, I actually think you could just be doing the chaos dungeons and all these secondary characters and farming up gems instead. Because go to, like, the market aren't Hanumatan stones. Marvelous is, like, 15, 16 gold. I just didn't want to say that, but, like, yeah, the 30 gold, right? So, what do you get from a, a Hanumatan? Like, 30 of them rested, right? 28 rested, 28 yeah. rested. So, ch check the price on 28 of those real quick. Eight forty. So now, one Hanumatan takes you about I don't know four or five minutes, maybe quicker. Yeah. Right. You could yeah. probably do about two chaos dungeons in that exact same time. I just feel like that chaos dungeon in this level gives you way more mats and resources than you're gonna get from not. Like I would rather you mm -hmm. do the chaos dungeons, get the silver, get all of it, and then take those gems and sell those gems type of thing. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Get or the gems and sell the gems. Or okay. farm the gems up into your mains, like stuff like that. Okay. Um. Because you're not... The reason I'm saying this is because you're not selling the stones. You're using the stones. Yeah, I am. In like, this I, case, yeah. you're doing the Chaos Dungeons, farming the gems, selling the gems, and they're going to sell for less value. Like, I think you'll get, if you do chaos, two, two Chaos Dungeons at that range, like a mm -hmm. level four, and a couple threes, but I think a level four is, like, um, probably, like, 600 gold, maybe. Can you check the level? Yeah, actually. I haven't looked at this shit in forever. Don't do it this way. Just go to... Um, yeah, that works. Actually, I've never seen somebody do it like that. Go ahead. No, really? like that. Yeah, no, that was actually interesting. I liked how you did that. That was quick. I'll steal yeah. that. Um, and then all characters. Do all characters, though. Yeah, so like 300 gold. Oof, or gems down. Hits are, yeah. 
Uh, type in level four top. Right. Like four hundred ish. Ooh, four hundred. So you're only getting you're getting half the value of the stones, but you're getting the silver and all the other stuff with it, right? Yeah, it's like four forty. Yeah, so it's yeah. Sure. Well, I mean, I just I do chaos and and I do chaos in all my characters, right? Like even like low pangs, okay. like I should have just run their oh, stuff. So you're actually no. I mean, no. If you have, ac wait a minute. Let me take that back. The way because you're you're unrested on everything, so it's just not the same. You if you have more time, then yeah, do the guardians. I, I'm mm. not saying that they're bad. I was doing verses like chaos verse guardians. No, but no, no, In this yeah, case, yeah. you're doing them it, all. It is, yeah, yeah. So just do them all. And yeah, that's yeah, actually. Yeah. But again, don't. I wouldn't delete a character. I would just add a character. Okay. And if it gets to a point where you're not doing them all, then that's okay. Yeah, because I mean, like her, like I should have don't touch her, because like if I if I if I'm doing like all these like chaoses and guardians and like unas whatever. Like, I just do these two for, like, Lopang, Silver. I would do her Chaos, um, if you have the set on her, or if you have Betrayal. It's not bad. Or just even Preemptive, really. Yeah. Maybe I mean, not. Like, it depends on how long your Chaos takes. If it's, like, a 6, 7, 8 money run, maybe not, but... Yeah, because that's, that's also, like, what I was thinking, like, Soul Eater is coming out in November. I was thinking of just, like, dealing using her, making on. a Soul Eater, using the pass yep. on the Soul Eater, and then bang. Like You can do that. Yeah. I just think you should buy a character slot and do that. Like, I don't... I never got the reason in deleting characters if you already spend money on the game. Okay. It's 10 bucks. Like, I I just... You may not find the value in the character at the moment, but I think eventually you can gear her for free by sending her just stuff from your other characters that are farmed, and you won't mind it as much. I think that eventually that character would just... It'll just be sitting value, like, you can use whenever you want. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. You don't have to listen to it. You can do whatever you want. I just do think that if you already spend money on the game, deleting characters is silly, because you just... You're just adding more value to your account. You can still yeah. do what you want to do. The difference here is that you're not deleting the character. That's it. Mm -hmm. And if you ever get yeah. the betrayal set on her, her chaoses won't be that bad. Yeah, she I mean she just has legendary gear. It's like she's just sitting at the back of the pack. Her balance yeah. don't really matter because she'll sit here. But yeah, cool. Yeah. That's your goal, I think. Don't touch the main. Pay back the gold. Get the dead eye mm -hmm. out, and then we'll talk again in like a week or so. Get the dead eye up. Okay. Actually, you'll be. We'll talk again in like two weeks with you. And obviously, talk in the Discord. Talk to people. Say hey. Like you know, people are really friendly. I can answer your questions as we go too. But I genuinely think like you're a check in in two weeks only because you have to pay back the eighty k. If you didn't have to pay back the eighty k, we could just check in next week and you probably have the dead eye done. You might still yeah. have the dead eye done next week, but um, I don't know that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nah. I mean, I think I think the go the gold from forty to eighty alone is like two hundred k. I think. Or am I stupid? I'm not sure. So we got a couple of weeks. If that's the case. Uh, hold on. Which isn't a bad thing. It gives you time to farm more bounds, which means that large tradable pool that you have will just go to one of those other characters. Yeah, it's 200k. That's a lot of gold. Wow, I'm actually going to be bottlenecked by gold. That's crazy. Well, only because you don't sell your stuff. Can I be real with you? Yeah. Go try to list all 2,500 of those stones. Which ones? These the ones? Marvelous ones, yeah. Uh, these are Hanu stones. List them for 30. Don't even list them for 31. Not actually, don't actually list them, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's 60k oh. right there. You're bottlenecked by gold because you don't sell your mats. But in this case, because of your goals right now, it's better to keep those because of your goals. Yeah. Um, I also don't sell gems. I just like make sevens and shit. So again, you could sell one level nine right now and already be up. No, no, no. These are my gunslinger gems. Okay. No, no. But you get yeah. what I'm saying. Like yeah, yeah. I know you what you could, mean. You're holding on to every single material. Um, you could sell some stuff and you'd be fine. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, I'm not telling you to do that. I told you we're going to check in in two weeks. Right. So that's all I'm saying. You're bottlenecked by gold, but you're not. You don't sell your stuff. It's different. Yeah. It's different. That's all. Okay. Like, if you sold those stones, you could pay back your debt and start working on the Deadeye right now. And the Deadeye has so many bounds in combination with those. Can I be honest with you? Actually, if you really want quicker progress right now, that is the mm -hmm. quicker progress. Because you have enough of those chests on that other Slayer that have materials in them that you can definitely get the Deadeye up right now. You could mm -hmm. literally, you could sell a gem, right, if you wanted to. 
even though mm-hmm. the dead, uh, never mind, gunslingers. But you could sell that whole pack of stones for whatever, three, four k, or whatever, or sixty k, whatever the hell it was. And then immediately we, you could pay back the gold, the eighty k. Um, you'd be you'd have thirty thousand gold left. You could start go tapping the the dead eye. You wouldn't be able to maybe get it though, maybe not to fifteen eighty. So again, no matter, it's gonna take a week or two. But yeah. I, I do okay. think you're basically there. And, yeah. you're, and you know what's funny is you're probably going to end up selling that stack of stones. Really? Mm-hmm. Here, do you, you know what? Go to that Slayer that had all the chests on it, and I want you to take as much of it into your inventory as you can. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do. I don't, I, don't think she, I don't think those chests have uh, that many stones. No, like, they, they don't, I, but if, are you just going to keep leaving them, though? That's my point. Like, they may not, but you're also just, they're just sitting there. You just, yeah. You're going to sit them there forever. Then they're really going to have no value come, like, two years from now. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... It's a bird in hand, right? That concept, like your what good is it doing to you in your inventory? Yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah. It's also because I, I just don't want to make the wrong choice, and like I said, be just like you're not gonna make the wrong choice. Uh, How many of my videos have you watched? Uh, I, I watched like a lot of them, honestly. Okay, so you remember that respecting the natural order concept? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's why you're not gonna make a mistake is because we're gonna respect the natural order. So you're gonna take all of those chests out, right? All of the leaps, and you have no real space, but take all the leapstone ch- chests out. It's gonna take a while. Okay, let's do. Uh, not that one. Not, 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 not that one. Also, just alt click. Uh, shards, short. It worked. Wait, this is the prime. Never mind. This is the radiant. Wait, should I? No, no, that was a good call. Good call. Don't put the radiance. Don't put the radiance right. Don't yeah, put just the radiance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I respect that a lot, actually. Um, those oh, have, the radiance. Sure those those have radiance. Those have radiance. Yeah, exactly. You have some legendary ones too. Uh, definitely take those out. Oh, you have mm. books too. Make sure you pull Should the books. A... When you do, when you go to home, make sure you pull the books. That's all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Should be it, right? Okay. Oh, there's a Marvelous right here. Yeah, grab him. Radiance. Uh, should be it. Okay, so you're good. Go Now go to the character with the lowest amount of stones on them. Lowest amount of stones? Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that might be my scouter. I'll show you what we're going to do. Might be my scouter. Um... I don't want to scare you, but I really want you to sell all those stones. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I was kidding. I'm not. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's first count how many uh, stones I have. Right? Or, or just straight up well, send actually, it. Yeah, you know what? Um, well, because the only reason I'm hesitating to have you open them on the dead eye right now is yeah. because you're going to have a week to farm the gold you're going to need anyways. Because you still do need the raw gold. All you're doing is paying back your debt this week. And then yeah. you're gonna have 30k. How much gold do you have left to farm this week? Uh, I got like two two clowns, uh, two normal icons, uh, one like kind girls. I uh, have a decent amount. Like 20, like, 30k. Uh, yeah. Okay. And now, can you go to your? What else do you have to sell that you could sell? Like you really aren't willing to part ways with any of the gems in your inventory. Oh, like like these. Okay, so like these, like the legendary, like sevens and nines. Those are my gunslingers. But like these ones, uh, I these are just like farming, like whatever. Okay, so then never mind. I don't want you selling those. Um. All right, you have twenty four hundred. So we already know she's gonna come up short, right? So open. Uh, this is my scouter. He has twenty four. How many? I don't know how how much my my sork had. Sorry, hold on. I'm gonna just check mm, real quick. That's okay. So he has twenty four hundred. Because you'll get what we're doing right now. You're going to open a little bit on each of them. Oh, okay. Because you know you're going to be short on them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, the only sure. reason I don't want you opening all of the chests on these two characters is because we don't know if your dead eye is going to come up short. Dead eye, he has like almost 4K. I know, but remember you said it was yeah, like 6K. Six, he said 6K, yeah. So that's why I'm saying you need these tradables if you were going to do it that way. But if we sell the tradables, pay your debt now, use these bound materials... To make up where you're going to be short, all you need is gold. You're not short materials anymore. You're just short the gold. See what I'm saying? 
You don't need the stones. You need the gold. You have a fuck ton of stones. Your video is like the perfect video for teaching how to respect. Your vid's like the perfect vid to teach how to respect the natural order. Okay. Right. So yeah, no, I want you. Every, do you do you trust me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If not, if not, I will buy you two thousand stones. How's that sound? <laughs> Offer my account and I'll send them to you. Um, no, you're good. So here's what I sell those. I want you to. Wait, what server are you in? Go to your dead eye first too. I'm in okay, uh, NA East. No, but like what server? Like uh. Hayden. Oh, okay. Go to Deadeye, you said? Yep. We're going to start honing him. You're going to sell the the 2K stones. You're going to get 60K. You're going to send your friend the 80K so you can immediately start doing what you want to well, do. Well, it's, it's not 80. It's not just 80K. Is it more? Yeah, yeah, because it's like... You're kidding, right? How much did you borrow? Dude, the pity sucked, man. I, it doesn't matter. How much did you uh, borrow? Because that's what... I, I can't move Yeah, here, let me, let me... Because if that's the case, we're not going to do this right now. Then I am just going to say check back in in a week or two. Because you need to farm up your gold and pay your debt back. Yeah, I can't do I'm anything just... with you if you don't pay the debt. If we sell those stones, can you pay the debt now? I'm just doing like quick maths right now. Because I'm going to give you the exact number. How much though? Like, come on. Like, 200. Like, pff, how much should you borrow? And you better hope you make more than 100k a week if that's the case, because then you borrowed multiple weeks. Yeah, it's full. it's it's 95.8. That's fine. Okay, so sell the stones. Okay. All of them, and you can undersell okay. to put them for 30 a piece if you want. Um, or or I did see that there was not that many at 30. Yeah, 30. So click on uh, it. F uh, 31. Yeah. So ooh, list them at 30. Just list all two. 30. Well, we want them all to sell immediately. You don't want to sit here and ooh. Stop that. Wait, wait, it just dropped. What? Yeah, but it's because somebody's listing them. Click on it again. I don't know why they're listing it at 12. Okay, they, they got bought out. Yep, so listed at 30. 30, Two. okay. All of them, right? Mm-hmm. You know, like, worst case scenario, I just go back to doing hot news, you know what I mean? Go like, back I got, to like, inventory. Yeah. Inventory? Okay. You have legit nothing else you can get rid of or sell. Uh, I could, like, get rid of these sell gems. The, sell the radiance. The radiance? Yep. These? Yeah, they're at, like, 100 or something, or 98. Just for the pure value alone right now. You're going to have a lot of those selling at the moment. Yeah, 103. Please sell those. Wait, but don't I need it for, like, the 6 and 20 gold? I would just do 102, get them to sell. Not right now, you don't. This is like 6k, so I can carry these. I'm sorry, what are you asking? Huh? Uh, no, of your require. I know that. I know what you need. I know. Yeah. It should, it should, it's fine, right? Mm hmm. Alright, cool. And just wait for them to sell. I just want you to trust me on this, that's all. Yeah, I got you, I got you. Um, Alright. Take the fucking the reds that you got there, too. Sell the reds. These? Yep. I, I know you need a lot of them before you tell me how much you need. <laughs> yeah, uh, 48. So let's say 48. 47, though. Just get them sell. It, just, it doesn't hurt to one undersell people by one, and it usually gets them off fast. Okay. Okay. And remember, you're going to need more gold for the Deadeye anyways, but at least now you're going to pay your debt and you're going to be farming it immediately. All the gold this week will get to go to, towards him. And start collecting it, obviously. Yeah. Um, now, I guess. And then hopefully the rest of it sells. The pro problem here is going to be whether or not it all sells. Yeah. Okay, so what's going to happen after you pay your debt and you get more gold to farm, right? I okay. want you to go into your honing screen. You're going to go and hone this character. If this co character falls short and doesn't make it, and I wouldn't do anything too crazy. Like, don't. I mean, you do need to get it all to twenty, I think, to get fifteen eighty, right? Uh, no, it's uh, nineteen. Nineteen. 
So um, if you want to go one piece at a time, do it that way. If you want to go multiple pieces, do you have the arrays? That's the next bottleneck we have to talk about. Do you have uh, Do you have any of those chests? Um, no, 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 no. I used those all on my main for the... Uh, and it sucked too because I was like, I was doing uh, trade trade skills like every off cooldown. So you have no superior arrays for these characters then? Uh, no. I have some mats, like... Uh, well, you either need to buy them or make them then. Yeah. I excavate, so I have like some of the... It's not... It's like not enough, obviously. Well, that's, that's part of this, so... Can you... So, uh, it's still going to take us a week. Over the next week, it's maybe even two weeks, but the, the point I'm trying to get at here is you're going to do it immediately. Instead of waiting around and hesitating, you're going to pay your gold back. And I know it hurt to sell those, but it's part of this process, and I promise you, you're going to see it soon. You're going to get it. It'll click yeah, okay. when we get forward. Um, you, I trust you. You're going to sell You sell the stones now because you, you need the gold right now. So you get the gold right now, then we're going to get you the arrays. Hopefully you farm them over the next week. You make superior arrays only. Don't make any more primes because your main doesn't need yeah, to be touched I don't, I don't for a need, months. Yeah. Okay. Then what you're going to do is you're going to come on this character, you're going to hone. Now go to your uh, inventory. When you run out of bound materials on this character, you're going to use one or two at a time. So all those chests that you have in your inventory, put on him. All the all the map chests. Yep. Uh, or, well, maybe not in that storage, but you can alt-click them into the other storage if you want. Oh, here? Yeah. So you just right-click for now. Yeah. And then if you alt-click, it'll put it in the opposite. So now I'll click those. Yeah, there you go. Um, and the shards, too. Um, so now, if he falls short on any of these materials, you might even want to grab the other mats that he needs to, like the reds and blues. We'll grab them if you need them. If he falls short, you start opening these. But the, on the good side is if you have really good luck and he nails it within his bound materials, then you don't use as many of those. You go to the next character. So that's what I'm saying about respect and natural order. You're going to use whatever the bare minimum of those is because there's no reason to just sit on those fucking forever. You're sitting on tradable ones, which are worth gold, which are only going to go down in value over just using the ones that can get you value right now. Does that make sense? Yeah. So what I'm having you do is I'm having you use those right now to get the value out of those right now. But the only way we can use those right now is if we can see if he comes up short. Because if he's not going to come up short, then it would be a waste to open all of those on him. But it would also be a bad idea to just go open them all on your other characters in case he comes up short. Do you know what I mean? Okay. So respect the natural order. We're going to do one at a time. So first you're going to do him. You're going to get him up. You're going to pay your gold back, get the gold, hone him. Just keep tapping him. I would not stop tapping him because all you're short right now is gold. You have okay. all the other materials he needs. Then after he gets up, then you're going to go to the next character with the most, which is the Sork, and you're going to do the exact same process. So we're looking at a two-week thing, but we're going to check in next week. I really, really want you to check in with me next week when you have all the gold, or as soon as you have all the gold that you think you need to do this. Um, okay. All right. Is that cool? Uh, and look at yeah. all the tradables you have. Dude, you, oh, my God. What? Oh, my God. You have the mats. And then all the books you have and stuff, you're guaranteed getting this guy by the end of the week. We just got to get you the gold. The gold all right. and the books, obviously. So just basically put all this into the dead eye and just get the gold, tap him. As you need it, though. As, as I need, need it. it, okay. All right. You have actually, right. you have no idea how much easier for this, for you than you, than you thought it was. Dude, um, I don't know. Do you understand what you're doing, though? Yeah, no, no, I, I understand. It's just, I just don't want to make, like, the wrong choice. You're not making the wrong choice. If your goal is to have a 16, 20, that's the only goal that you might not hit. And it's not because you can't hit it. It's because if you want to hit that, then you kind of have to open all of this shit on that character and not put any love into these characters and just ride that wave hard as fuck. Like, every single bit of event crap you get goes into him. Every dollar you spend goes into him. But if you want to have these 1580s on top of him, you have to get these 1580s first, and fundamentally it'll help you get that 16, 20 later. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. And then sitting on all these bound materials all this time just doesn't help you. And that's why, like, you're sitting on tradables, right? All of those reds. Check the prices on those reds out of just raw curiosity. Which ones? The ones that you're transferring these ones? in. Yeah. Just curious to see how much they're worth. Uh, it's like eight. Eight gold. Can you list all of those and see what it would come out to be? Uh, dude i mean it's not as good as it was and it's kind of shit when you think about it but the thing is is you're only short gold like how many other how many bound mat event well chests did well you um the thing is that good i am gonna be short uh gold but these um wouldn't it help for my other characters too when it's time for them to get their weapon to 19 yeah, it's 19 but how many of those uh material chests did you have sitting in that character slayer 
You have uh, a dozens of those. That's what I'm trying to get at. You could sell the tradable mats right now, get the gold, which is what you're behind, and then use those. Do you see where I'm kind of going with this? Yeah, but I, I don't know if it's that much, though. That I, I know it's hurting. Like, it really... Yeah, go ahead. That's why I was... Go look at them. It might not yeah. be that it might not be that much, but if it's enough to get you to that threshold, that's all that matters. Does that make sense? Like you're just trying to get to the fifteen eighty threshold. So it, it doesn't have to be a lot, it just has to get you there. And no. maybe maybe you don't sell all the reds at once. Maybe you harbor some like you hold some of them and you sell some of them. But I'm saying like the the value shit, I'm not gonna lie, selling it for that amount of gold is kinda bad, but it's better than it could be, I guess. It was at like five gold a week ago. Yeah, I mean, it's 65k uh, of those red stones to push a weapon from 15 to 19. On average, right? Yeah. So now take all of those red chests. Because the blue chests are the ones that I would, I would fucking stand with you till the day we die because they're, they're worthless. You're getting no gold for those, really, if you go to sell them. So take all of the chests that don't give you the new types. Yeah, obliterations. Same thing we did with the other ones. Anything that's just not going to do your main character justice, pretty much. Those. All of those. No. Uh, no. No, no. Oh, Marvelous. No. No, I should hold these off for my main, right? Yeah, yes. Yeah, most definitely. yeah. If there were different tiers of those, then I would be giving you the same argument I'm giving for this. But because there's not for Honor Shards in that, all of that stays for the main. These are piss, honestly. But whatever. Yeah, but they don't give you the new ones, I don't think. If they do, no. you just send them right back. Uh, Look at all these dude. fucking bags you have. That's what I'm saying. This is why I hate people holding stuff on. And I'm not being a mean. I'm not trying to target you. But this no, is no, why no, I, I know, say I this is why I have a pet peeve of people holding on to stuff. Is you could have probably already had a 1580. You probably could have had a couple more 1580s already, but you didn't think so because you were like, "I'm still short stones. I'll go trade. I'll go get tradable mats and I'll use the tradable mats." Why are you using the tradable mats when you can sell the tradable mats for golds and use all the crap they give you? And I'm not saying you don't still need tradable mats. I came up short probably on all of my characters, but you don't need as many as I think you you're saving, especially when you save this stockpile of stuff. And you're clearing out your inventory. Honestly, that's a great feeling too. So now you go back to the Deadeye. Right? And how many reds did you say that he was going to need? Like a bajillion or something, right? 65k. Yeah. Well, 65, not even him, but also 65 on Sork and my Scouter. We're going to get there. Don't worry. The Sork and the Scouter, remember, we're doing this over the next, what, couple of months? The Sork and the Scouter are going to take you, no matter what, they're not getting pushed this week or next week. He's this week and next week. And as soon as he's done, then we move on to them. They have another week of farming, two weeks of farming bound materials, I guess is what I'm saying. So we don't know what they're going to come up short yet until you farm the next week or two. Maybe clear all that out. What, the, uh, the mail? Mm -hmm. Might as well. Select all, delete all. Yeah. And then, um, okay, so you're almost at the point where you can pay back the gold. Which sucks. Yeah, yeah, dude. It, yeah, I mean, pitying it does that when you're pushing sixteen hundred, right? So mm -hmm. now pull all of those out, the reds. Put them in that same inventory. And I oh, it, again, do you trust me? Because <laughs> I'm gonna have you sell like three stacks of those reds. I wish I was kidding, but I'm really not, dude. I'm like <laughs> so serious. I'm not even for some kidding. Because they're at a price point where you can actually get a decent value for them. Getting seven k a stack actually isn't a lot, but it will help you towards your goal. I wish you could just start tapping, but you can't because you got to pay it back. And either way, we, yeah. may, we may check in in a week, right? Um, a week? After you sold your stuff. Well, because I just you, you're missing a pool of gold that you're not going to get without doing raids. Which yeah, means yeah. that I, instead, I of, raids, yeah. instead of having you sell these, we can have you hold on to them and then see how far your gold gets you. Do you see where I'm going? And we'll tap the weapon first, as a matter of fact. We'll start with the weapon. But first, we have to pay back the debt. And yeah. then, you see where I'm Run going? Run my this? raids. Um, yeah, unfortunately, you're going to have to run your rates. So yeah. pay him back, right? You said 95000 so you just need, yeah. what, 2 k more. I would send it to him immediately. 
yeah. then go do because then you're done that's it right and then go do yeah go do your raids and then we'll touch base again because I, you're right i don't want you on honestly you are kind of right i don't want you selling the reds before you need to sell the reds because if you have yeah. to do content anyways it doesn't really make sense yet and then we'll see so how far your gold pushes you and if your gold doesn't get you there which we know it's not going to then we'll start selling reds but what we'll do is again respect the natural order what we'll do to make sure that we're doing that we'll use your your gold that you farm from the raids to tap the weapon first so that's that'll be the first thing we tap and if you run out of reds we'll open some reds and if you completely run out of reds then you'll use tradable reds but if you don't completely run out of reds then those are for the next character okay Does that yeah make sense? and i mean uh, the the issue another issue is just gonna be the superior has yeah that's true too you have no superior so uh, you have to also do I, that. I need i need to like farm that so no matter or, what we have i mean to how check. much are they in the market bro well no but then you're dipping into your gold so no matter what we have to check yeah. up in a week right yeah. Um, I did see that it's actually, I think, I think, and you got to do the math yourself, but I think it's better to sell the trade mats and buy the superiors, but I could be wrong on that, but you can check that yourself. Does that make sense though? Mm-hmm. 23. Uh, how many do I need? Uh, a lot. 4k. Yeah. 4k. Shit. Okay. You have no chests with those in them? No, like I use them all on uh, my my gunslinger. I mean, I'm, yeah. Yeah, so you have two weeks of farming. That's where we're going to end this. You have you have a guaranteed two weeks of grinding. But again, I, you're going to end up selling these reds. I already know you are. I know, like I know you are. You're not Jesus. selling them now. You're you're not, <laughs> yeah, because you're not going to need them. Because here's what's going to happen. We're going to go to uh, check your weapon. Your weapon, okay. your weapon might come up short. Right, it might come up short, so we're gonna open up some reds, and then you might like go to your legion commander shop too. I'm curious, just out of our curiosity. I bet you still have reds shop. for for a con, and I bet you still have reds uh, for the phantom marks too. Is it mayhem? Mm -mm. No, you don't no, no, use phantom these, marks, though. right? Oh yeah, it's not phantom as well. These? These? Yep. So you have reds in here. So I would open those ten reds too. Do you know what I mean? Like this is what I'm saying. So like you have all these free materials that are better to use over the tradables. You're gonna go use tradables that you could sell for gold when you still have all of these free handouts. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like buy those right now. I'm not even fuck. I don't care. Buy them all. All? Okay. And those. Yeah, I guess that's true too. Good. It's worth it. Who gives a fuck about the emotes? Uh, these no, I don't really um, need, right? Yes, yeah. you do, but you had so many of those in there. Yeah. And the reason why those don't count is they are valueless. You can't sell those. You could sell them for one gold a piece, but it won't get you shit. Whereas the reds right now, we're still, they're kind of at a point where, like, I actually, I really do want you to sell them now, but I'm just not doing that to you because I get how you feel about that. Yeah. You're not comfortable with it, so I'm not going to make you do it. So instead, you should get those books too. Every week, you should be getting those books, especially yeah, if yeah. you're planning on honing these characters. And then put okay. that with the rest of the materials. In your current inventory. Okay, so the plan is when we start honing after I get the array house. Start with the weapon. Wait, am I am I farming the array house? Right. Uh, yeah, you sh uh, No, I, I find out whether or not it might be better for you to farm the materials, sell the materials, buy the superior arrays because the prime arrays are like the ratio using trade mats is so high that it might again be better for you to sell the mats the trade mats that you trade you your trade skill and then just buy your pri uh, superior rays with the gold does that make sense like it might be a better value to go do the groundwork sell the groundwork yeah. and then yeah. instead of making them in your own stronghold just buy them no yeah. because everyone's like making primes i don't know what the math is and we can sit here and do the math but i just don't really feel like it no no, no i'll get mad exactly yeah. you can there's a ton of resources out there with the math go ahead grab that and grab that and then i would send him the gold because you're at 99 yeah so, but once I have the Orejas, I'm going to tap weapon, use bound. When I run out of bound, open I'm not going to use tradable. Open, open chest. chest yep. Open these chests One at until time, I hit the time, weapon. Until, yeah. Exactly. And then as soon as you hit the weapon, you're going to transfer all of those weapon things to the other yeah. characters. Right? And then do the and then thing. do the same exact process. Exactly. Um, oh, but okay. you don't have to do those characters now. Right? You, although we could do that now. That's interesting, like, putting it this way. You technically could do the weapons on all of them right now just to see if you can sell your weapon stones before they crash. That actually might be the better idea. So instead of doing the Deadeye first and them first, you uh -huh. might actually be better off pushing your Deadeye's weapon to 20 
and if he doesn't come up short, which he's going to come up short looking at what you have, right? Then yeah. whatever, then take whatever you have left, you go to that next character, do the exact same thing. We'll do it on at least two of them where you tap all of her, or all of the Sork's weapon up and see if you can get it to 20 without using tradables. If you get the Sork's weapon to 20 without using tradables, I think you should sell all your reds. Does that make sense kind of now? Yeah, okay. Like, it just, again, like the, it's just that concept of, like, you were willing to use the 2,000 Marvelous Bound or Tradable Stones before you've even looked into these chests. That's just why. You are you need gold. You don't need the tradables. I hope yeah. it does. I, I do hope um, overall. Wait, so, wait, did I tap my my machinists, like, with free, free tops? I don't think you did, no. Okay, so shouldn't I just use all the free tops on the weapon to just even get it, like, once, maybe? Um, I don't know. Because I, I, uh, I don't think so. I really don't. Because okay. it's it, the thing is, is, there's not really an efficient way to use free taps. The only efficiency thing you can say is that the armor is cheaper and you can get more taps. And since it's percents, if you get 100 taps at 4%, it's 400%. Compared, that's not true, but it's 400%. Versus, like, if you get 10 taps at at four percent it's you see where i'm going with this like it's like 40 percent or something like that so it's not that it's more but it's like there's this there was this thing that happened when we went to the brow gear where it was actually better to to use the free taps in the old relic gear before brow on the level 19 to 20 or the 20 to 21 than it was to convert it to brow and do the and do the first tap of 19 to 20 or for or, or 13 to 14 or whatever the fuck it was and the reason yeah. was is because you were getting a 10 percent chance yeah, yeah um you were getting a 10 percent chance for the brel set to hit the piece but it was costing you like four times the amount and then the one before that was only a three percent chance but you were able to get four taps for the same cost so ultimately making it a 12 percent chance to succeed which isn't true it's still three percent but in like the grand odds it's actually not it's actually two percent more than the 10 percent. does that kind of make sense yeah um, and it's that similar concept right now is that yes, the weapon would save you more if you hit, but because you're getting less hits fundamentally, it's, it's always better to just hit where you can have more odds to hit. Yeah, that makes sense. And I butchered that because that's not even my logic. I put the, I get it. I do understand. Yeah. I have to kind of say it. Um, But yeah, you know exactly what you need to do now. Yeah. Okay. Like, that all kind of connects, right? Does that make sense? Like, respect the natural order. Does that all click kind of a little bit better now? Like, what I mean when I say that, like, you're basically, you're using what the game gave you instead of using the tradable. And if you're lucky enough, you'll be able to sell the tradables. And then the bounds that you have in your inventory will be enough. Like, I'm going to tell you right now, you have more than enough leap stones in those chests to get the dead eye. More than enough. Right? Your dead eye is there. You need the gold. That's it. Okay. Uh, in the arrays, unfortunately. And I actually yeah, think your sork is there with bound materials, too. You just need the gold again. And then it comes to your scouter where these reds might be useful, but because the scouter is a month out from now, like you're not doing the scouter for two, three weeks to a month from now because of where it, the scouter is. Because of that, because you need the gold, too. That's why like you're kind of being bottlenecked hard by the gold. Because the scouter is so far out, I'd rather you sell the reds earlier and then they'll probably go down in price in a couple of weeks and you can just buy them back. Hmm. If you need to, but you probably won't need to. Um. Okay. Either way, you have to farm. I, like, Obviously, there's, yeah. there's nowhere we can go forward from, from this yeah. without that. I'm not, I'm not just going to sit there and like, you know, just... I'm obviously going to farm. Uh so I have to figure out. I have to figure out about the array house. So if it's just worth, uh, like you said, farming the the mats and then selling the mats and then buying the array. And like I said, I would pay your friend back like now. You yeah, yeah, no, that's, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just, I'm just waiting. I'm gonna do raids. Yeah. And uh, I'll message you. I'll let you know like how much gold I have. Like whatever. So after I pay them back and run my raids. Well, look up get the, the cost of your weapon. Yeah. Real quick, like how much gold do you need to even start tapping the weapon? Uh, 600. No, no, I don't even I didn't mean that. You're funny. What? I meant, like, how much gold do you need to even start tapping the weapon in the sense that 
from 15 to 19. So you know how I always say not to tap one piece all the way up to? I still stand by that. But the difference here is you already are sitting on a bulk of materials. That applies more to people at my stage of the game where we're, we're basically farming the materials that we're using as we're getting them. That's where you should level one piece at a time because they're giving you a ratio of mats every week, so to say. And we're at the deficit. But because you're in an excess of materials, you're sitting on 3,800 stones, you have the privilege of tapping the weapon all the way up. Um, if that makes sense. Okay. Because of the access material. Okay. Yeah, because because no matter what, you're going to need the mini out, right? Um, you're either going to make it or you're not going to make it. That's where you're at right now. Um, okay. But yeah, go do your things. Because, like, again, we can't really move forward, Bass. No, yeah. It's just the right house. That's all. 